The Battle of Fort Dipperty was fought in October 1915 during the United States occupation of Haiti. U.S. Marines and rebel Haitians, known as Cacos, fought at the Grand Riviere which resulted in the destruction of Fort Dipperty, an outpost of Fort Capoise, 194-196. Chapter 1, Battle On 24 October 1915, Marine Major Smedley Butler was in command of a mounted reconnaissance patrol south of Fort Liberté, Haiti, near the enemy-held Fort Dipperty. While fording the Grand at night, a force of more than 400 rifle-armed cacos attacked the Marines from three different positions. The Americans were shocked and returned a few shots before retreating to high ground a few hundred yards to their rear. During the retreat, the Marines lost their only machine gun when a Coco rifleman shot the horse carrying it. The Cacos followed up their ambush and attacked the Marines again. All night long, the Americans held their ground. Later that night, Boxer Rebellion veteran and Medal of Honor recipient Daniel Daly retrieved a machine gun and killed three Haitians with his knife, earning himself his second Medal of Honor. Major Butler planned to counterattack at first light on October 25. He told his men to charge as fast as they could and shoot everything around. The Marines divided into three groups and ran toward the river and the main body of the enemy. When they were sighted, the Cacos fled the field, into their fort, several did not escape and were killed by American fire. The Marines captured Fort Dipperty from the remaining Cacos and held it. Major Butler and his men returned to base at Cap Aitin a few days later, and in November went on to fight in the Battle of Fort Riviere, the engagement which ended the First Coco War.